Hello, Zach at River Valley Marine in Red Wing, Minnesota. What a beautiful day. Taking a look at a very good looking carver. This here is an 89 30 foot Santiago. Very good looking boat. Take a walk around the outside. You're going to probably notice a handful of things. A, it's exceptionally clean. Very good looking boat. Beautiful canvas package on this boat as well. Nice big bridge enclosure, but you'll notice they did a custom aft enclosure as well. Uh, keeps you protected from the sun, but it also has the screens for the bugs and things to that effect. Really a nice setup. Large platform on the 30 Santiago. Barbecue grill on the back. You've got a center mount ladder. There's also nice molded steps going right into the cockpit area. Shore cord plugins are easy to get to. Work your way down the other side of the boat and you're gonna see the walk arounds. You're also gonna see the nice tall rails that are uh, really a highlight feature of this boat. You got fender racks in the front, your spotlight in the front. Anchor is easy to access along with a bow ladder. From there, let's take a look inside. As you step on board a 30-foot Santiago, really this cockpit room is what most people really enjoy. It's nice, it's open, a large back bench seat, plenty of floor space, nice amounts, a little bit of storage here and there, easy access to the bridge, and of course the notable sliding glass door that takes you right into the cabin. Before we explore the cabin though, let's take a trip up top and take a look at the bridge. As you work your way up onto the bridge, just to your right is going to be a large uh, double or even a triple wide seat. You have your helm seat, very nice captain seat there, along with a passenger seat here. So a somewhat simplistic setup, but very user friendly, plenty of walk around space. The helm also very simply set up. Your shifters over here to your right hand side, your trim tabs, engine trim your remote spotlight controls, depth finder in the middle. Uh, the boat, while we're talking here about dash and motor stuff, powered by twin 5.7 liter Volvos, right at 1,036 hours, if you can read it there. So a good power plant. You also have VHF radio, large glove box, cup holders, fire extinguisher, just a nice overall setup. So from there, let's go back down and take a look at the cabin. So we take a walk inside the cabin and for a 30 foot boat, this has to be the largest interior by volume you're gonna find. You take a look at the one level interior and that updated flooring that looks absolutely incredible. The neutral colors throughout the boat are nice. You have so much storage on a 30 foot Santiago up above. They have a TV mounted right here on the port side. All the upholstery looks very good. It does have air conditioning and heat as well. You can see the wet bar here with the ice maker down below. Work your way to the other side and you've got this nice big side lounge. And take a look at how easy the access is to all your controls. Your 110 controls, easily accessible. All your 12 volt controls, everything is super well labeled. Work our way up above and you're going to see more of that nice uh, storage that goes right above on the 30 Santigos. And I think a highlight feature is the way they do the galley. The counter space is second to none for a 30 foot boat. Um, Carver's always done a great job. Love the uh, stainless steel sink. It's a very big oversized stainless sink. You have a lot of storage, a lot of cabinets, your refrigerator's tucked underneath. And you do have an electric alcohol stove. So. Kind of a nice feature and of course the microwave is tucked up above work your way forward we're doing this without a lot of cuts because this boat is very free flowing uh, work your way forward and you got the forward berth probably if one person was going to say the only downfall with a 30 santigo you have tons of room but you have one primary stateroom the side dinette can be made into a bed which is nice Working our way forward here though, you do have another TV up front, closet space, your air conditioning and heat controls, very easy to access, nice side seat as well. And before we exit the inside of the boat, we have to look at the head because again, for a 30 foot boat, Carver really, I would say nailed this for the size of boat. The entry point and the ability to use this head is very nice. The headroom's impressive. Your head just down off to your right hand side. Love the towel bars. A little bit of counter space. Some cabinet space. Just a good looking setup. You also have a mirror. Just a nice 
head compartment on a 30 foot boat. So that there's a quick video walk around of this good looking 89 Carver 300 Santiago, a boat that certainly should impress dollar for dollar, feature for feature. This boat is definitely a lights out deal. I'd be glad to talk to you more about it or set up a time to view. Again, I am Zach at River Valley Marine in Red Wing, Minnesota. Please call, text, or email at any time. And again, thank you for watching our video.